It's a poetic moment that Ayn Rand was born 107 years ago, and we are greenlighting Atlas Shrugged Part 2 today. Yeah. You know, Ayn Rand, uh, she felt, I think, as an individualist, she could have chosen one word to uh, exemplify what, what she meant, what was important to her. And in all 1,200 pages, it would be one word, reason. And here we are. So it's a poetic moment, as I said. Uh, we're going to... Um, uh, have a budget that's about 50% larger than part one. So we're well positioned to, in October, before the election of 2012, we will have theatrical release in 500 theaters during the first two weeks of October. <clears throat> and I'd like uh, Harmon Caslow to come up here and uh, go through the ceremony and any other comments. And, and thank you to Scott and Mila, too, uh, who've uh, been part of this. Thank you. Don't, don't leave, John. Um, <clears throat> it takes a lot of people and money to get a movie made. Uh, it, takes, it takes the same, actually, to market it and create awareness and interest. And you know, one of the things that uh, John and I you know, made the decision that you know, there wasn't going to be a Hollywood studio, number one, that would even get a clue as to what Atlas Shrugged was all about, how to reach that audience, how to support a film that has such an important and powerful message. So we decided to reach out to a variety of groups, and uh, Reason is one of those groups, and we want to recognize their contribution. Not only did they help us um, in the marketing of the movie, but then they also, as I'm sure you're all aware, they partnered with us on these DVDs. We want to recognize David, not. What, what we've done is we've taken uh, some cells from the actual prints that were in theaters. Uh, you know, people who saw these films in large part because of your support and help, and uh, John and I are incredibly appreciative of uh, Reason and your support and hope that we get it for part two. Thank you. You're very welcome. And then finally, one last thing, we're all here to drink, right? So, uh, everyone, you have a champagne glass for a reason. Um, and it's no coincidence, by the way, that we would make the announcement of, you know, part two going into production, especially when there was a period of time where there was some doubt as to whether or not there'd be a continuation of the telling of this uh, incredible story. And so it's no coincidence that uh, John and I chose not only this place at this time, but also this day to make this announcement to you. So we want to you know, sort of raise our glasses here, and let's not only have a toast to sort of the adventure that is before Bill, John, and I in, in bringing this movie to the theaters, but also to recognize the birthday of, of Ayn Rand and have a moment of celebration for her contribution to this country. So, here, here. here.